Hi, welcome. Hope Savara here, and it's day 17 of our 40 days on the mat. And today I want you to kind of hold within your heart center this idea of being compassionate. And I think when we can be more compassionate to ourselves and to the people in our lives, we let go of fear, we let go of hate, we let go of envy, we let go of distrust. And so if you can maybe think about a person in your life right now that just really gets under your skin, that you just don't understand, that just, just makes you, mm, and maybe that's yourself. Can you have compassion for their situation? Can you have compassion for where they're coming from and what they've been through? And maybe the hardships and struggles that you don't know about or that you don't understand. When we can create and cultivate more compassion in our lives, we let go of the hate, we let go of the resentment, and we let go of all of the road blockers and the barriers that we put up, the ones that we think are really helping and protecting ourselves, but really they're not. And so as you practice today, cultivate that compassion, but also cultivate the strength to follow through with the compassion. And when you find those moments within your days and the next several days that you just want to <clears throat> be angry or find yourself not being trustful, and just bring forth that compassion. Bring forth that compassion and breathe into that light. So if you remember from a few days ago, we were using discs or gliders. And if you do not have a disc or a glider, feel free. If you're on carpet, paper plates work really well. And if you're on tile or laminate or hardwood flooring, um, small rags or hand towels work really well as well. The discs, you can get them on my website. Um, they range anywhere depending on where you're buying them from, maybe even Amazon, anywhere from $8 to $20 depending on what style you're buying. So you'll need one of those. Other than that, you'll just need a mat and yourself and uh, maybe some bare feet. All right, let's start in a tiptoe balance. So curl the toes under, come up off of your heels and knees, and bring your hands to your heart. So nice tall spine, relax the shoulders, press the palms, and thumbs right at the heart. Let's cultivate that compassion. Inhale. Feel your rib cage widen. Exhale. Soft jaw. Inhale. Exhale, if you had a rough day, just allow yourself to be grateful that you're here right now. Last breath, inhale. Now hands to the floor, heels towards the mat, reach forward, low heel squat. Inhale, breathe into your back body, let your sit bones wiggle free. And even though your heels aren't gonna touch the floor, let them hang and really stretch through the Achilles tendon. Inhale, start to lengthen the legs. Exhale, knees stay pointing forward. Again, shake out the head. Really nice space through the back of the neck. Inhale, deep breath. Exhale. Bend your knees, jump step or walk the feet open into a straddle. Now from your straddle, keep the feet parallel. Try not to collapse in the ankle. Side lunge. Exhale, side lunge over to the right. Lean to the inside of the right knee. Keeping your left thigh muscles strong. Strong enough to help keep openness in the hips. Now take your left arm and reach to the right as you keep leaning to the inside of the knee and shin. Exhale, relax the head. And then inhale, come up through center. Try to keep this core nice and strong so we're not collapsing in the lower back. Exhale, thigh muscle now on the straight leg is strong. Press into the foot so it doesn't collapse. And lean to the inside of the knee with the elbow and the thigh. Let your hips sit back, feet stay grounded. Depending on how your body's feeling, reach now your right arm to the left. Lower your head, feel a nice stretch through the ribcage. Inhale, come back to center. Back over to the right. Exhale, side lunge to the right. And this time, if you have blocks, blocks might work. Drop your forearm onto the floor. Otherwise, grab hold of the foot or draw the palm to face in. Inhale, lean with the right elbow and either tuck the arm or extend the arm to the sky. Work not to collapse into the shoulder. You can also be on your palm. Inhale through the nose. 
and exhale, really feeling good, stretching the upper back. Exhale, lower down, be sweet to the neck, come through center. Now bend off the left knee and take your right arm to the floor. Watch not to collapse into the shoulder, that way a block may help. You also can be on the palm. Watching not to lock into the shoulder, already feel space in that lower shoulder joint. Now lead with your left elbow so that the trunk rotates the best possible and then either extend the arm chin tight to shoulder or tuck the arm and really open the top chest. Breathe, keep pressing with the bottom arm and shoulder, rotating through the deep trunk of the body. back into straddle, head towards the floor. I want you to explore your tighter side one more time. So we can really just get that little two to one ratio kind of snuck in today. I'm gonna to go back to my right. And so if it's your left, feel free, go there. Drop the opposite forearm to the floor, push down into the floor so the bottom shoulder is open. Inhale, turn through the elbow and chest. Exhale, nice deep breathing. Firm up on the straight leg side, we're never locking the knee. Cultivate compassion. If your body feels stiff, don't fight it. Inhale. Exhale. Your mat is not a war zone. And then exhale. Lower the top arm down. Back into straddle. Exhale. Bend your knees. Jump step or walk the feet together. Back into tiptoe balance. Got to get that balance in somewhere. Inhale, nice and tall, hands to prayer. Relax the shoulders. If you could smile, you know you're bringing just the right amount of energy in. Challenging balance. Inhale, look to the left. Full rotation, feel your right shoulder draw back. See how far back you can look with the eyes. And then back to center, exhale. Press your palms, widen your lungs. Inhale, look to the right without tipping the head. And then back to center, hands to the floor, head to the floor. Keeping the belly and the thighs tight, lengthen the legs only to the point where you can keep that connection. Please do not collapse the knees and ankles. Exhale. Bend your knees, roll yourself to standing. <sighs> Great job. All right, now fold your mat in half. So as you fold your mat in half, Take your disc and bring just your right toes onto the disc. So I'm going to come into plank here. Bend the elbows, fold to the elbows forward, keep your palms pressing firmly. So you should feel a nice broadness in the upper back. Not to be confused with hunching. When we hunch, we overemphasize the biceps and the pecs and we lose the deep core. So make sure that broadness also includes length. All right, step back one foot at a time. Again, the right foot has the disc. Inhale, I'm trying to keep my body as steady as possible. Pelvic neutral, really important. Exhale now, let's bring right knee up towards the right tricep, and then back down again. I'm not pushing my body or lifting my body. I'm really trying to focus on using my deep core and oblique. The hip flexor is gonna be working to help move the leg but we want to make sure that that deep transversus and pelvic floor is also working so the hip flexor isn't doing everything. Exhale and inhale. Good warm up for crow. Exhale. Exhale. Four more. Three. Exhale. Two. Keep pressing. Exhale. One. And back. Knees to the floor. If you have tender knees, support them. Breathe here. Exhale, rise back up again, bend and open. Switch the disc to the opposite foot, back into plank. You could easily be in modified and bring that knee up, okay? There's always an option to try to create that same effect. Here we go. Exhale, 
and inhale, get the knee high, exhale. Exhale, pelvic core, almost like a bungee is coming up. Exhale, think about it. Focus on your breath, four more. Last one. And again, back down, sit back and breathe. Roll yourself up. Let's just get a quick little wrist stretch in. Turn your fingertips towards your knees. Thumbs on the outside. Broaden through the back. Either just work 90 or lean back to that point that you feel a substantial stretch. Now inhale, let the compassion just swell within your heart center. Exhale. It's easy when we feel tightness in the body to either force against the tightness or kind of um, unfriend it. It's like, I don't like this, this doesn't feel good, angry at ourselves because our body is this way, and acknowledge the fact that you're now recognizing this and doing something about it. Compassion. For me, compassion took many, many, many years to cultivate, and when I started understanding compassion for myself, I was able to let compassion in the relationships in my life that were um, damaged and that needed it. All right, release the wrist, roll them out. Nice job. All right, so back into plank. The disc is back now with the right foot. Fold and open, or rotate and open. Step back, plank. Keep everything nice and strong. This time, knee's going to go right up tight to the sternum. So exhale, here's my knee, and I'm going to add that extra little lift. But you should really feel that in the rectus and that front deep core. So we're thinking front sheath muscle, the six pack ab, the rectus abdominis, and then beneath that is gonna be our transversus. That extra little lift is gonna be really important. So you've already done one. I won't uh, make you do any more than you need to. Exhale, pelvic core, inhale. Notice how I'm not hunching or pushing up in order to sneak that knee under. Exhale, exhale. Fold to the elbow, stay forward, exhale. I can be on my knee. I'm just gonna, not going to quite bring it up as high as you normally would. Exhale. Four more. Last one. And drop it down. Sit back. Breathe. Exhale, roll up. My method and my approach to fitness is work smarter, not harder. And so you shouldn't find yourself having to kill yourself at every workout, but rather it should feel good and be effective. All right, so fingertips nice and wide. We're going to the opposite side. We'll be nice tonight. It's a short workout, so we won't do two to one ratio here, but you can definitely implement it if you want. So here we go. Exhale, that extra little lift. Inhale, exhale. Pelvic floor, think about a bungee cord. Nice job. Five more, feel free to take a knee. Just be consistent. Two more. Last one. And drop down. This time spin yourself around. Hips onto the mat, fingertips behind you. Bend your elbows and hug them tight. Now inhale, lift your heart and stretch through your wrists. Look over your right shoulder. Inhale, lift your lungs high. Exhale, bring the head to center. Inhale, look over your left shoulder. And exhale, head back to center. Draw your knees open. Now spin your fingertips around. Sit nice and tall as you press your knees to the floor. And exhale, slowly cave and around. Roll yourself onto your belly, hands under the shoulders. So elbows start elevated. Already roll the shoulders back. Legs feel parallel and even. Press the tops of your feet into the floor. Inhale, ground your pubis bone. Exhale, pull your front belly off the mat. And now feel your shoulders and head dip forward. Roll yourself up, drop your shoulders, and then roll the head right up on top. 
Inhale, move the sternum out as you pull the elbows in. Exhale, no glute squeezing. Push down into the hands. You can be here, that's okay. Push into the fingertips a little bit more. Exhale, roll it down, head to one side, breathe. Draw the hands behind, roll the chest open. And exhale, just turn the head the opposite way. Head to center, hands under the shoulders. Exhale, press back. Reach the arms to the right, press your hips to the left. Nice little side wall stretch. Back to center, inhale, and exhale, stretch. Back to center, rise up, step your left foot forward. You need to, again, bring that knee onto the mat. And as you bring yourself upright, level your hips, keep the front belly strong. Just drop enough to feel a stretch in the groin. Use your hands against your thigh to stay upright and strong again through the pelvic core. Inhale through the nose, feel a nice stretch through here, rather than compression in your lower back. And inhale, press up, just switch legs, really simple. Level through the hips, so I'm being pulled in the area of my restriction. Keeping the hips level and square, as I sink down, press into the front foot, stay strong through the front deep core, so we're really exposing that groin. Inhale through the nose, notice how I'm using my hand on the front thigh and actually rolling it out to help acknowledge where my stretch actually needs to be in the back leg. Breathe, think tall and open. And then inhale up, bend both knees, roll your mat up until it's totally rolled. If you're on the hard floor, feel free to put a blanket down. Turn your mat now so it's like the letter I behind you. And sink the mat up nice and tight to the sacrum. Roll yourself out and let your body open up, arms to T or to a cactus to really support the openness of the shoulder girdle. I like bound angle, so feel free to come into bound angle as you rest in a quick but effective Shavasana. As you inhale, bring that compassion, let it swell in your heart center. As you exhale, bring it out to all those people in your life that support you, but sometimes all we see is the frustration. Inhale, bring it in. Exhale, share it with those people in your lives. Compassion. It's like sometimes when you're driving in your car and you accidentally cut someone off not knowing and they flick you off. And sometimes that person inside of you is like, I'm so sorry, or what the heck is your problem? But instead you offer them compassion. You don't know what their day has been like. You don't know what burdens that they're carrying. And so inhale, let in the compassion. Exhale, expand it to all the people in your lives. Share compassion, no matter how big or small the situation. Inhale, stretch your limbs out. Interlace the fingers, turn the palms away. Let the shoulders roll open against the rolled mat. And then exhale, bend your knees, bring your arms down. Roll off to your side. And use your hand to curl yourself up. The most important part of our practice is when we integrate back into our everyday lives. And no matter how effective we feel on the mat, it's when we get to that place in our lives where we feel as though it's impossible not to take what we're learning on our mat into our everyday lives. A sign of a true yogi. 
From my heart to yours, from my soul to yours, thank you so much for your time, your energy, and your effort. Remember, it's not the amount of time you spend in your practice, but the quality of time and then what you do afterwards. Namaste.